Bar owner in Dunedin is sounding off on noise complaints from neighbors forcing him to shut down outdoor seating at 11 p.m. He tells 10 Tampa Bay's Chris Hurst he is hopeful a petition and a possible change to a city ordinance will end that dispute. Super Mario Brothers. I remember getting the original Game Boy playing Tetris. George Courtney opened Reboot Arcade and Bar six years ago. A lot of people that actually only go here because they want to go outside because we're one of the few places that are open late. Open till 3 a.m. except his outdoor seating. The city called him three weeks ago to say they're enforcing an ordinance that requires people vacate outside after 11 p.m. I would love to just say like, hey, you know what, let's just not do it and let's just make our money. But we we love our city and we want this to be changed. So we don't want to be the bad guys in town. For months, the city has been meeting with businesses and residents to figure out how to amend the ordinance. Staff is recommending removing the vacate language entirely, but require restaurants like Courtney's to keep noise under 65 decibels, about as loud as a driving car. My fear was that this was going to get voted on uh, by the city, but without the major feedback from a lot of the people that come downtown and realize that, like, you know, your nightlife is at jeopardy right here. So Courtney started a change.org petition, now with thousands of signatures to make sure the commission approves the changes. If you kind of leave it up to, um, to officials and you don't have much input, um, you're kind of rolling the dice. He'll know if it's game over for late night outdoor fun when a planning committee takes up the changes at a meeting later this month. In Dunedin, Chris Hurst, 10 Tampa Bay. Hmm. Reboot Arcade and Bar isn't the only business subject to the new enforcement of the vacate ordinance. The city says 25 restaurants have outdoor seating permits. 15 of them are downtown.